Nothing like throwing my menstrual cups in for a quick boil before my in-laws get here. If you've been following my channel for any length of time, you know I've been talking a lot lately about our good friends, menstrual cups. If you are going to wear a menstrual cup, it's really important that you clean it properly, especially the first time that you get it. So you either wanna use one of the sterilizing, they have like steamers or they have sterilizing tablets sometimes that they send or you can buy additionally with your cup. But if not, you can just bring it into the kitchen and go ahead and boil it. It's literally just as simple as throwing your menstrual cups into a boiling pot of water. Especially the first time you use them, they are clean, so there's really no Nothing weird that's gonna happen. <laughs> the recommended amount of time to clean your menstrual cup is anywhere between three and five minutes. At least that's the three different cups that I bought were the Hello Cup, the Pixie Cup, and the Moonflees Disc, and those said anywhere from three minutes to five minutes. Boiling actually kills a lot of germs, so there's really no need to do anything more than that. You don't need to like then wash them with soap or anything. In fact, if you are gonna use a soap to clean your menstrual cup or disc, it's really important that you use something really mild. It doesn't have fragrance. It doesn't have all that yucky stuff like phthalates and nasty other things that soap companies find the need to put into, <laughs> into their products. A couple of things with boiling your menstrual cups. You want to make sure that they're not touching the edges or sitting on the bottom. That could definitely um, do damage to your cup and you also don't want to leave it in there for like 20 minutes because again, not good for your cup if you want it to last a long time. If you're wondering when you should clean your cup, the first thing is that you definitely want to clean it the first time that you get it. You have no idea who has touched it in the making of this product, so definitely want to boil it or sterilize it um, before that first use. Some products recommend that you boil it at the end of each cycle or you know the beginning of the next cycle uh, to make sure that when you start you're kind of afresh. And then there's other companies that say you don't even need to do that, you can just wash it with soap and water um, in between cycles and that's, that's good enough. During your period you can go ahead and just rinse it out with first put cool water on it and that helps make sure that the blood doesn't stain your cup. If you want, you can use, a, like I said, non-fragrance, very mild soap. Oh, three minutes. Very mild soap on it, but otherwise you, you can just um, rinse it and put it back in. Make sure that you think about the temperature that your disc or um, cup is gonna be at when you get done. Don't like take a set of boiling water and run into the bathroom and put it in your body. I think that goes without saying that's not a good idea. <laughs> the other thing you might be wondering about is toxic shock syndrome. So with tampons, you can only wear them for eight hours and then you increase your risk of toxic shock syndrome. But with any of these menstrual cups, they actually say you can wear them for up to 12 hours and still have very low, if any, risk of toxic toxic shock, woo, that is a big word. Toxic shock syndrome. First, let's just explain what toxic shock syndrome is. It's basically a bacteria that gets into your body and it gets into your bloodstream and it causes an infection in your body. And this bacteria often lives on our body and is not a problem, but when the bacteria has an environment to grow in that is ideal for nasty bacteria, that's when we run into a problem. And so some of the tips for tampons are like, don't wear the super large absorbent tampons and don't leave them in more than eight hours because when you do, you give that bacteria a nice happy place to live, grow, and get into your bloodstream. Uh, with these cups, they say you're safe for up to 12 hours. There have been reports of people wearing them longer than that and, and nothing happening, but most companies will tell you that 12 hours is probably the most that you wanna get if you really do want to decrease your risk of toxic shock syndrome because the only there's only been I don't know like a handful of cases the article I just looked up said two cases at that point in time there's only been a, those two cases and both of those people were wearing the tam the menstrual cup a lot longer than the recommended 12 hours the other thing is with storage when you store um, your cups and discs you want to make sure that you're not putting them in an airtight place so you don't want to put them in like a plastic container with a lid on it and shut it and seal it and 
because if there's any moisture in there at all, that could have mold grow on it. Um, that's why they send those little bags with almost all menstrual cups or discs because they're a place where it's still breathable, but you're going to keep like dust and hair if it's in the bathroom and other weird things that can collect <laughs> on items that sit in our bathroom. I also saw to make sure you're not storing it in a place where it's in direct sunlight. So if you have a window in your bathroom, you probably don't want to be having your cup sit on your windowsill because this can decrease the lifespan of your cup. And if you're wondering, what is she talking about about this lifespan? That information is included in my full review of all three cups that I have, which is specific for women postpartum and if you have a low cervix. But I'll just give you the short version here now. The Moonflames doesn't give you a time frame. It just says keep checking it. If it starts to feel sticky or if you notice any breakdown, any holes, uh, that's when it's time to get a new one. And the Hello Cup and the Pixie Cup basically said most likely five years, max lifespan is 10 years. So if you are able to stay the same size for 10 years and you take really good care of your cup by cleaning it properly, storing it in a nice dry place, not in the sun, it could last up to 10 years. But again, you're just checking it for any breakdown, deterioration. So if you're wondering, oh, I've had this for like four years, should I be getting a new one? No, not necessarily. If you inspect it and it still looks good, keep on wearing it. If you hit that 10 year mark, then it might be time to think about a new cup. If this video was of interest to you, then you might be wondering, I wonder what kind of cup would be good for me or specifically about these three brands of cups, which one should I get? I did a full review, it's kind of long, so grab, grab a drink or a snack. Uh, but I do go over from everything from cost, from how it fit with having a low cervix, the pros and cons of each, return policies, the packaging it comes in. I tried to cover everything possible so that you don't have to buy these to actually try them out. So go ahead and head there next.